The Persevering Tortoise and the Pretentious Hare. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Once a turtle, finding plenty, in seclusion to bewitch, lived a dolce far diente kind of life within a ditch. Rivers had no charm for him, as he told his wife and daughter. Though my friends are in the swim, mud is thicker far than water. One fine day, as was his habit, he was dozing in the sun, when a young and flippant rabbit happened by the ditch to run. "'Come race with me!' he exclaimed. "'Fat inhabitant of puddles! Sluggard! You should be ashamed! Such a life the brain befuddles!' This, of course, was banter merely, but it stirred the torpid blood of the turtle, and severely forth he issued from the mud. "'Done!' he cried. The race began, but the hare resumed his banter, seeing how his rival ran in a most unlovely canter. Shouting, "'Terrapin, you're bested! You'd be wiser, dear old chap, if you sat down and rested when you reach the second lap. Quote the turtle, I refuse. As for you, with all your talking, sit on any lap you choose, I shall simply go on walking. Now this sporting proposition was upon its face absurd, yet the hare with expedition took the tortoise at his word, ran until the final lap. Then, supposing he'd outclassed him, laid him down and took a nap, and the patient turtle passed him. Plodding on, he shortly made the line that marked the victor's goal, paused and found he'd won and laid the flattering unction to his soul. Then, in fashion grandiose, like an after-dinner speaker, touched his flipper to his nose and remarked, Ahem! Eureka! And the moral, lest you miss one, is, there's often time to spare, and that races are, like this one, one not always by a hair. End of The Persevering Tortoise and The Pretentious Hare